Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial we are going to let the admin add category from the admin panel. So we will have a category option over here and if the admin click on this category option then it will take the admin to a base where admin will keep the category name and uh, we will add the category to the database table. So for it, first of all let's go and create a table for the category. So for it, we will just go back to our project directory. So here you can see laravel project so this is a laravel project so here i'm going to open a command prompt so i'll say here cmd then press enter there you can see it open a command prompt so let me just zoom in and in order to create a table we need to write this command php artisan make clone model and our table name will be category so we we'll say here category and we we'll say here minus n so what this command will do is that this command will create a model for category and minus a means migration so right now if we press enter there you can see model and a migration is created so right now if we just go back to our code editor and if we go to our app then inside the app we have models and here you can see we have category.php and if we go inside the database folder inside database we have migrations and here you can see inside migration we have categories table over here so we will go inside the categories and here we are going to say dollar table then this arrow sign will say string to first bracket single quotation and we will give it a name let's say it will be title let's say here category underscore title cat title like this so after it we'll just save it since this is just a category so we'll save it and let me just go inside the uh, category.php and over here uh, what i'll do is that uh, let me just copy this protected fillable from here Control c and i'll paste it over here in the category model let me remove those and here we are going to say cat underscore title which is basically this one okay so save it and right now let's go back to our command prompt and we'll say here php artisan migrate and press enter there you can see migration is complete category table is created so right now if we just go back to our uh, PC my admin here you can see the library database so right now let's just refresh here and there you can see we have a table over here called categories and here you can see id cat title and created updated at so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to add an option called category over here so for it let's go back to our code and we can just close those two from here so this time we will go to our resource then views then admin folder and inside admin folder we have header dot or uh, not header we have sidebar dot blade dot php so we'll go inside the sidebar dot blade dot php and uh, here you can see after home we have the table option so instead of table we are going to say here category so save it and right now if we refresh here and here you can see we have the category option over here so now what we are going to do is that when we click on category it will take us to a different page where we will be able to add the category so let's go back and here inside the href we are going to give to second bracket then we we'll say here url to first bracket to single position let's say it will be add or let's just say here category underscore page let's say this so let's save it Control s so right now we'll go to our web.php and create this route so let's go to our routes then web.php then let me just go down and let me just copy this route Control c and we'll paste it over here and the route name will be category underscore page so let me just copy it from here Control c and i'll paste it here we'll use the admin controller and the function name will be 
category underscore base. You can give the function name anything you want. So let's save it. And right now we'll go to our admin controller and create this function. So let's go to our app, then HTTP controller. Then here you can see admin controller. Let's go down. Then here we're going to set public function category base to first bracket then to second bracket from here we'll just return a view we'll set return view to first bracket single quotation the view will be admin dot category let's just say this so we need to create a category dot rate dot php in the end pin folder so for it let's go down and here in the admin folder Let's right click, then click new file, and then we'll say category dot blade dot php, control s, then save. So let's just say simple HTML, and in the body, we'll say category. For now, we'll change it. For now, let's save it here, 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 then here as well. And let's go back, refresh, click on category, there you can see category. So right now we're going to add the design, the header, the sidebar in the category base. So for it, we'll go to our admin folder, index.blade.php, let me copy everything from here, control A, control C, then we'll paste it in this category.blade.php. So control V. From here, we're going to remove this include admin.body, only this part, then save, then refresh here. Then we'll go to our category page. There you can see we have the header section and the sidebar section, and we also have the footer section. But we need to modify the body design. So for it, we'll go back to our code, and this time we'll go to our body.blade.php. And from here, I'm going to copy this 3D from here, uh, div class page header and container fluid. So control C, then paste it here. We also need to close those 3D. So div closing, div closing and div closing. Save it again, refresh. There you can see we have a black background right now. So here we are going to have an input field so that admin can add the category. So for it, let's go back. And here we are going to say, let's mention another div. Then inside this div, we are going to mention h on tag. Here we we'll say add category. After that, we are going to have a form over here. So we we'll say form then inside this form we're going to have label label name will be category name and for this level we'll have a input field so input type will be text then name will be let's just go with category you can leave any name and we'll make it required after that we'll add a button here input type will be submit so this will be the button and for it we'll add a value button value so let's say here value value will be add category save it let's go back then refresh and there you can see we have add category reading over here category name input field and and category button so like so right now let's go and design this a little bit so let's go back and first of all what we'll do is that we'll make everything in the center so let me just mention a class over here and for this class let's say class name will be div underscore center then save it and we'll go at the top and inside the head section let's just say here style that with we'll a style then inside this style we we are going to mention the class which is div underscore center to second bracket 
we set text align it will be center and margin it will be auto if we now save then if we refresh here there you can see everything is in the center so right now let's add some design for this add category text then let's go back and here you can see category add category over here we'll say another class let's say it will be cat underscore level again let's go top and inside the style we say here dot cat underscore level then to first bracket here we are going to set font size it will be 30 bx then font weight it will be bold let's also just add a padding let's say padding will be uh padding will be 30 bx we can add color but i think the color is fine so right now refresh there you can see add category so let's just change the button design and uh, let's just say here color for the text will be white white let me just go down and for this button we are going to use bootstrap class so we are going to mention a class it will be btn btl primary save then refresh and there you can see add category button so right now let's just create some space among those uh, among the input field and the button so let's just uh, do one thing that is let's just keep this inside the span uh, let me just cut it then paste it here and here for the span let's say let's just say the style here and we are going to say padding right it will be 15 px save then let me just refresh there you can see there is some gap right now so right now what we will do is that when the admin click on this button add category then it will store the category name in the category table so for it we will go to our form then inside this form we are going to say action then we will say here method and after that we need to mention here at the end of csrf token so the method will be post since we want to upload data to the database and in the action we'll give to second bracket then we'll mention a url to first bracket to single quotation we we'll say add underscore category let's save it so right now let's go to our web.php and create this route so let's go to our routes then web.php then let me just copy this control c then i'm going to paste it over here so the route will be post not get so we'll say here post and our url os add underscore category so we are going to say here add underscore category the url name and the function name will be the same thing so save it so right now let's go to our admin controller get this function we'll go to our admin controller then here we are going to say public then function add category to first bracket then to second bracket and this is a post request so we need to say here request then we say dollar request after that what we need to do is that we need to upload whatever input we give over here to the database table so for it we need to mention the database table model name at the top of our controller so we are going to send use app backslash models backslash category so we are mentioning the category model name which is basically in this one uh, if you go inside the app then models then category here you can see app models and then here you can see category model okay so let me just go down and here we are just going to declare a variable we say dollar data equal to this is just a random variable you can declare any variable you want 
after that we are going to mention the category model name and before that we need to say here new uh, new category so we want to upload a new data to the category table so we say here dollar data equal to new category after that we say here dollar data this arrow sign and we want to upload the data to this field here you can see cat underscore title to this field so we are going to mention over here cat underscore title then we'll give equal then we'll mention this dollar request here then this arrow sign and after that what we need to do is that we want to request the data from this page category.blade.php and the name is here you can see name equal to category so we'll copy this and paste it here and in order to store this data we need to just say over here dollar data this arrow sign save so basically what we are doing is that we are calling the category model and storing it in this dollar data variable then using this dollar data variable we are uploading the data to this pin cat underscore category and in order to upload we need to set dollar data set so right now after storing the data we want the user stay on the save page so we'll say here dollar so we we'll say here return then redirect to first bracket this arrow sign back so what this will do is that after storing the data it will keep the user to the same place so save it here then here as well so right now let's go back then let me just refresh here and let's go and add a category name let's say the category name will be friction and we'll click on this add category button if we click add category it's reloading the reloading is complete so right now if we just refresh our database table there you can see in the cat title we have a name over here friction so let's add another one let's say here adventure click add category and uh, there you can see we have another cat title over here add category so we are able to end the category from the admin panel so in the next tutorial when we add the category we will show a message that category added successfully so this is all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching and i have to see you in the future tutorials